Okay, so for exercise three, we're trying to prove part B of theorem 2.3.1. Um, which says that for every set B in a family A of sets, that B is a subset of the union of um, union over A. So we're going to begin by saying uh, let let B belong to A, where A is a family family of of sets. So what we're trying to show is we're trying to take some element that is in B, and then we're trying to show that that element is here, and therefore uh, B is a subset of the union. So what we we want to show that um, that X belongs to A, where A is a set, right? So uh, maybe you guys can't see this, but this notation here, we're saying, hey, it belongs to some A, which is this A over here, that belongs to the family that is the subscript A. So we want to show that X belongs to some set, um, some set, uh, some A for some, for some set in that family, right? Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to say let X belong to B. Um, then because we said that, hey, B belongs to the family of sets A, right? Then we're going to say that X belongs to A, where A is some set, right? For some A belonging to the family. Um, and then I'll just put in this case, A is equal to, to B. Just putting, uh, even though this is not necessarily going to be proof, I'm just putting it here so you guys can follow. Um, the reason that we put in this line is because this is the definition for belonging to the union, right? So we're going to say, so, uh, maybe let me erase this. So by definition, X belongs to the union of all sets A belonging to the family subscript A of A. So the reason, once more, the reason that we made this line, like even though, yes, we already know that X belongs to B, we said that, right? The reason that we included that line, then X belongs to A for some um, A belonging to the family is because this is the definition for the union. So by definition, X belongs to the union, thus, B is a subset of that union of A. So when I first learned this, I was a little bit confused, you know, what is with this normal A, the subscript A, and the important thing here is just to remember that this normal A, it just represents um, some set in the family, right? And that is it for problem three.